This is Otolaryngology Mnemonics and Tutorials. So today we have brought you the most important points from Cummings Lattice Division. That is the hallmark. We have brought you the hallmark findings from different chapters. We have investigated thoroughly all the three volumes of Cummings seventh edition. That is the most standard and recent text that is available to us. So this is likely to be tested in all sorts of exams, including NEET, SS, NEET, PZ, MRCS, ENT, ENT residency exams, uh, ENT, DHA, HAAD, and so on. So here we move to the hallmarks. So one, a very logic hallmark of acute rhinosinusitis is an air fluid level in the respective sinus. Acute rhinosinusitis, air fluid level in the respective sinus. Two, uncoordinated ears esophageal contractions. That is the contraction that are not peristaltic, are not peristaltic and directed towards the stomach. They are the hallmarks of diffuse esophageal spasm (BES). Three, genomic alterations, including translocation and gene fusions. Translocation and gene fusion. They are recognized as hallmark of salivary gland tumors. So this is the latest update. It could be tested in the recent exams. Four, there, there is an entity called Sileninoma papillifelum. Sileninoma papillifelum, the hallmark feature is a distinctive combination of exophytic papillary projection or the exophytic papillary proliferation on the surface epithelium, as well as endophytic proliferation of ductal epithelium of the salivary gland duct. Okay, cytokine number papillifelum, you have exophytic as well as endophytic proliferation. Exophytic proliferation of the surface epithelium, endophytic proliferation of the ductal epithelium. Five, uh, the most common salivary malignancy is the mucoepidermal carcinoma. The hallmark of it is the presence of three cell type. Three cell type. The first is the mucus type. Second, the squamous, which is also called the epidermoid, and the third is intermediate. All these cell types are visible on the microscopic picture. Six, the hallmark of esophageal inflammation is an altered mucosal pattern. Altered mucosal pattern is a hallmark of esophageal inflammation on radiography. Seven, the hallmark of an abnormal larynx on MR imaging. Okay, when you have a post-operative cases, post-tradition cases, when you want to see the hallmark of an abnormal larynx and MR imaging, magnetic resonance imaging is asymmetry. Eight, the tracheal stoma is the hallmark of total laryngectomy. The tracheal stoma is the hallmark of total laryngectomy. Nine, the hallmark of Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is generalized severe pruritus. It occurs in approximately 25% of patients. 25% of patients present with this kind of feature. 10. The hallmark of stereotactic radio surgery, SRS, and fraction stereotactic tactic radiotherapy is the delivery of large doses per fraction. With high spatial precision, typically about one to five treatments that is essential. Eleven, NGU invasion is the hallmark for insular thyroid carcinoma. This entity is mentioned in latest coming, so could be tested as well. So NGU invasion for insular thyroid carcinoma. Twelve. The hallmark of obstructive station tube dysfunction is evidence of magnetic pressure persisting within the middle ear. 13. An absent or abnormal auditory brainstem response. The absent or abnormal ABR is a hallmark characteristic of auditory neuropathy spectrum disorder A and SD. 14. Bull's myelinitis, the hallmark finding is bulla over the tympanic membrane as well as medial canal with serous or serous fluid. 
15. The clinical hallmark of autoimmune in a rare disease is bilateral sensory neural hearing loss progressing over weeks to months. Similarly, 16. A very important point over there. The most important hallmark of facial paralysis. Facial paralysis from cholestatoma is a gradual onset. Gradual onset that distinguishes it from Bell's palsy. So in Bell's palsy, you have an acute onset, whereas the facial paralysis from cholestatoma, you have a gradual onset. 17. The hallmark features of supranotitis. Supranotitis, they are dysphagia, drooling, the child with children with respiratory distress. All of these features, they are rapid in onset and they are progressive over hours. 18. Stridal is the hallmark of laryngeal or tracheal obstruction. Stridal is the hallmark of laryngeal or tracheal obstruction. So, this could be described as a high-pitched musical or harsh sound and is often mistaken for wheezing. So we come to the 19th point. The final point is that the hormone finding of blastomycosis is pseudoepitheliomatous hyperplasia. Blastomycosis pseudoepitheliomatous hyperplasia. So thank you very much. Please stay tuned for all other kind of updates, important points, mnemonics, as well as comparative analysis of different information in different standard textbooks. Take care. Thank you.